Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we are going to make a a remake of my Sims 2 tutorial showing you how to get money in Windows 10. Now I'm actually making this today because today is the 12th anniversary of the Sims 2 original launch date. Yep. <laughs> September 14th, 2004, The Sims 2 was released to the market, which was amazing, guys. So to celebrate that 12 year anniversary, we I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to get the whole game running on Windows 10. Now, it isn't as simple as just launching the game, front end compatibility mode, and just launching the game. Oh no. You are going to need to do some stuff. And, um, you know, I did this tutorial before, you can see here. This is my original one. We have about 9,000 views on it already, which is crazy. But people have been requesting me to do a better version of this. And I am going to do that, as, and especially for today, for the Sims 2 anniversary. So, before we begin, I just want to say that I'm going to try and explain this the best I can. Uh, I am going to go through it quickly, but you will get my point uh, at least, hopefully, guys. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, before we begin, I just want to say that this isn't as easy as you think just launching your game no you're gonna have to do some stuff uh, but it is pretty simple to do when you know what you're going to be doing so I would uh, recommend guys that you please do stick around for the whole tutorial though there is a few thing, few exceptions so let's get on to this tutorial and uh, yeah so before we begin you are gonna need Winmar and this is because that the files we're going to be downloading uh, require Winmar to actually extract them. So please do download Winmar. I'll leave this in the link in the description. Pretty simple to use. Um, you know, um, I'll show you how to use it there in a minute. But uh, let's get on to this tutorial. So before the very first tip is well, the first step uh, is only for the CD version only. This is for only the hard copies. So if you own an Ultimate Collection, I would recommend you skip on. A few minutes until I get on to that part of the tutorial so if you have a heart um, the, the ultimate collection from origin I will leave an annotation to skip to wherever and uh, you can pick up from there but for you guys who have a hard copy so just the original Sims 2 CD version or the DVD version you guys uh, are gonna need to do this so you want to go to modelsims.com and you want to go to game help TS2 patches. I'll leave a link in the description to this site. And um, if you don't know, if you don't have a link to it, and it's pretty simple, you could just even go up Sims 2 patches. But you can see here that when you get here, you can see there's about 10 or 12 patches here. Now, what you want to do is when you've just installed the base game, you want to install uh, the CD patch or the DVD patch, depending on the version of the game. So if you own Double Deluxe, you will go for the DVD patch. But if you own like the original CD version, uh, I would highly recommend you do patch it to that, uh, to the CD version. And I would only may recommend this for the CD version. I know I, it's just a safe way to make sure that your game is going to completely work on Windows 10. So what I would do is I will install the base game patch if you own the CD version. Then I'll download the University Life patch after install the University Life. I'll install that. You know what I mean. Um, but do it after you install each expansion and when you get to ex uh, apartment life here um you will install the apartment life patch um after you've finished installing apartment life you know you know what i get you know what i mean um but uh yeah pretty simple um i'll try and explain it the best but yet yeah, do after you install this like for university example i'll install university then i'll install the patch corresponding to it the only thing you're gonna no need to know two things you need to know here is C for uh, pets and seasons here there's a dd patch uh, thing digital download you don't you don't need to download that you only want to go for the cd version which is up here um and you can even uh see the patch notes if you want to um but uh, yeah um and also just note as well you're also gonna have to install the family fun stuff patch so i believe family fun stuff was released before open for business if i'm correct so you will install family fun stuff first after i think nightlife if i'm correct i i can't remember the order but if someone can correct me uh yeah but after you have installed all those patches you are pretty much ready to go at least on one side 
So, uh, yeah, um, but the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your, um, this is only for the CD version as well, I believe, I think the Origin version has a shortcut already that is made for Windows 10 and all that, so, uh, yeah, but what you want to go ahead and do is go to the drive your Sims 2 game is installed on, for, go to this, well, go to your documents, well, you know, my, um, the file explorer, Go to this PC and go to local disk C. So just click on that. You want to go to program files x86. Now this step is only required for, uh, for the hard copies again. I know the ultimate collection does have a shortcut into the game already. So you guys who own the ultimate collection and are watching this. You can skip on um, a little more um, until I say so. I'll, I'll leave an annotation. Uh, but what you want to go to. If you, but if you own the CD version, you want to go to the EA Games folder and you want to go to the Sims 2 Mansion and Garden stuff or your latest expansion pack. For me, oh, Mansion and Sims, sorry. Uh, AP or SP. For me, it's Mansion and Garden stuff, so uh, I'll click on that. Now, if you are, you own the Origin version, you may want to note that this is going to be the same file path from here where I'm about to go to, uh, but it's in a different directory so I, I will tell you now in a minute if you're still watching but what you want to go ahead and do is go to TS bin and you want to go ahead and uh, right click on the sims 2 ep9 here and go ahead and send and go to send to and send to desktop create shortcut I'm not going to do that because I already have on my desktop and this is because because if you use the launcher shortcut there's a problem where um, the launcher will show up then it will crash so what you want to do is that, you know, just to avoid that and you can get into the game easily enough and even avoiding the launcher altogether, which I think is much easier in my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, so guys, if you are an Origin user now, the Ultimate Collection, this next step is, next two or three steps is for you. So if you own that, um, you, uh, you will have to do this as well. The next steps I'm about to show you are for the origin, the ultimate collection as well. I'm trying to explain this the best I possibly can. I want to get this released today on the 14th, so um, because it is the Sims 2 anniversary, so uh, please do mind if I say anything, you know, any wrong speech. I'm trying to explain this. I'll try and see about that, but uh, you know, I'm I'm just releasing this to you guys. But uh, anyway, what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and go to this website right here. Which, um, uh, so for you origin users or even for the hard copy this step is required you want to go to this website here now you may see something that says do not use this fact on windows 10 well i can surely say this actually works on windows 10 i can prove to you guys uh unfortunately i won't be able to show you some gameplay because i don't have time to right now but um yeah but you want to go to this website it's called um it's like graphics rule this girl decided to make which is so kind of her thank you very much and um please do read this um article because it is pretty important you know if you mess up or if you're having problems um now before you before just to make sure you're eligible for this this is only required for some of you guys who are getting this problem so if when you go into game you may see that your game is at low settings and that's a big problem so what you want to go ahead and do is go to your ea games folder which is right here go to the sims 2 and you want to go to your logs which is this file uh, folder here and you want to go down to a file called um config.log whatever your name if your pc or the user you're using and um, but this is the name of my pc and you may see down about here it says texture memory and it should say 32 megabytes and this is an issue and um, some of you guys are having maybe are having uh, and this is a big issue but uh, i found this when i was actually originally doing this when i was researching on how to get this into running on windows 10 i found this article this person made and kindly enough it is pretty simple to follow along to so please do read this if you want to get more information and uh, if you have the black screen issue, read that if you're having a, back, a black screen issue or sorry, a black um, shadowing issue, you can read that and you can read all this sort of stuff. You have a lot of troubleshooting here. 
I didn't need I didn't actually need to do that much troubleshooting guys. I can just I just launched my game and it worked completely fine. But what you want to go ahead and do before you can see here, step three. Uh, please download the um, graphics rule corresponding to your graphics card. Now some of you may be wondering, what is the manufacturer of my graphics card? I don't know. Well there's an easy way you can check. Now one way you can check, maybe easily, is just right click on the desktop. And this is mostly for gaming PCs, you may see this. For me, I have an NVIDIA card, so I'll see the NVIDIA control panel. But if you don't have, like, but if you have a manufacturer PC and you don't see anything like NVIDIA or AMD here, there's another way you can still check. You want to go to your display settings. And this will take a second load. Advanced display settings. And you want to go all the way down to change adap um, display adapter properties. And then you'll see here the manufacturer card and actually the name of your card. For me, it's an NVIDIA card, so um, I, I, I've would download the NVIDIA version, but if you own AMD or Intel, you'll go for the corresponding one. Now, I've downloaded this already, uh, just off screen, so I, I, but what you wanna pretty much do when you do download this is extract, uh, file, extract here, and you'll get this file called graphicsrules.sgr. Now, this is an edited version, uh, but now let's get on to the important stuff, installing this. I'm gonna try and explain this the best I can possibly can. If I mess up, guys, Please comment down below, uh, you know, tell me and I'll try and leave an annotation or something or some a note in the description, you know. Uh, but what you want to go ahead and do is go to your program files x86. So before we really get on to this, um, I just want to note, guys, if you have the origin version, uh, you're going to have to go to a different directory, but from a certain point it'd be the same. So... What for you guys on or who own the origin until you get to all the files such as TS data, all that sort of stuff, you are in the, the right directory and you can pick on. But where would you need to but you'll need to go to if you do own the ultimate collection is origin games, the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. I believe it's Fun of Pets and SP9 is the directory for the ultimate collection. But if you own the Kind of um, the um, what's it called? The hard copy of the game, one of the original hard copies. You want to go to your EA Games folder, add the Sims to Mansion and Garden stuff, and you'll get to the same place you guys are over on the digital version or the origin version of the game. So sh you should see these files if you are running the um, origin ver version. But uh, yeah, but what you want to go ahead and do is go to your TS data, and you want to go to a file called a folder called Res. And you want to go to a thing called config. And what you want to go ahead and do is um, go ahead and back up the graphics rule file here. This is important just in case anything happens. So just make sure you back that up. Make sure you, so you what you'll do is right click and copy. Uh, the copy option there. And also make sure you do that for CS config as well. Because um, you could mess up. Um, which I've done for CS config already, so I don't need to do that. But do the same thing, just copy that and put them somewhere like your documents or onto a USB or USB stick or something like that. But after you've done that, what you're going to go ahead and do is um, and copy uh, the SGR file you just downloaded here. This is the one you just downloaded. And what you want to go ahead and do is put that in the same directory I just showed you there. So go to your program files x86, um, and when you're here, um, for you Origin users, you want to go to the same place as before, and um, you want to go to the um, Origin Games, Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, Sims 2 Fun with Pets, I believe, and SP9, um, but and then you'll arrive in the same place as E. Well, then you know you'll pick up from the same place uh, when if you go to this. But if you own the A game, which I just told explained to you before, but you want to go to the EA Games folder if you own the hard copy. And go to the Sims 2 Mansion and Garden stuff. And when you're here, you want to go to your TS data. Again, you guys on Origin should get to here. You should be here. But what you want to go ahead and do is go to the TS data folder. And oh, why did I just do? How did I? Don't, don't worry about that. I, I did an accent. Uh, go to res and you want to go to config and just paste that file. Uh, control V that in there. And go ahead and do that for CS config as well. I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, because I have already done it, 
But now when you launch a game, you should have fully working glass, uh, graphics. And uh, yeah, now if you are running into the shadowing issue or any other issue, you may want to read further on. Um, you know, I haven't had that many issues at all, so I don't need to worry about this. But there's another issue you're now going to run into, which is um, which you're going to note right now. So you want to make sure you're still here because, well, I could go back to the config folder here. But I'm going to tell you right now what you're going to need to do. Launch your Sims 2 game and you may see that the resolution is still at 800 by 600. You go into a town and go into the screen resolution tab, well, the graphics tab, and you see the screen resolutions. And you don't see 1920 by 1080 or... 1280 by 720 or uh, what was the fourth and uh, 1920 by, uh, by 2160 or anything like that you don't see that resolution well guys the problem is that the sims 2 did not support that resolution back in the day it always su supported up to a certain resolution i cannot remember this resolution but it's only supported up to i think a certain resolution on high settings so to fix this, we are going to have to edit the graphic rule file we just put in our game. So what we want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and go to graphic rules, right click, and go to open. And when you're here, you want to go ahead, just make sure before you do this as well, I forgot to say, make sure you have admin privileges because you won't be able to do, save this file if you don't have admin privileges. So you want to go down here, and the first thing we want to edit here is set low from one to three you want to change the value from one to three and set the medium from two to three make sure you change those two values right here so that that would be one and that would be two and that would be three don't mess with the third one but mess with these uh, make sure you change the first two set setting low or set low it says here and set medium make sure you do change that and then you want to go down about three quarters the way down the file down to about right is it is it no to right i can't remember it's down here so i'm going too far down uh to about where, where would it be I, I can't remember is it down here yes it is yeah it is okay you want to go down to here to a thing called option screen mode resolution when you're down here you want to go down to setting high and when you see this you may see something like, I think it's 1266 by something, if I remember. And what you want to do is you want to change that figure to the screen resolution your monitor is, your native resolution. For me, it's 1920 by 1080, so I would change this from 1920 by 1080. I'm sorry, 1920 here, and then I'll put 1080 here. And then make sure you do it for the, these two figures as well. And that would be the same resolution as the old resolution. resolution. That'll be there. Just make sure you change those as well to 1920 or 1080. And then you want to go ahead and do is file and save. Easy enough. Go ahead and launch your game. And there you go, guys. You have just, you just been able to get The Sims 2 running on Windows 10. Basically, in under about 15 minutes. I tried to explain this the best I can. I did make a tutorial this like eight months ago, and I didn't know too much information. Well, now I know everything and I kind of try to explain it in the best I can. You know, I, I'm not the best to, for explaining, but uh, yeah. But I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope I helped you out a little, you know, try and figure out this issue. If you want to get the Sims 2 running on Windows 10 and do your 12 year anniversary video on the game. So yeah, but I hope you did enjoy this video. Please do like, comment, subscribe for more simming content four times a week. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.